My stepson tried to blow up my entire life by accusing me of putting my hands on him. So I told my wife it's me or him. Now he's going to lose his parents again because it's definitely not him. A bit of background. I, 40M, have been married to my wife, 40F, for five years. She has a son, 10M, and a daughter, 8F, from her previous marriage, and I have one daughter, 7F, from my previous marriage. About a month ago, her son accused me of hitting him. I have never put my hands on him or anyone. My wife confronted me, and I denied it. She didn't believe me. After the argument, I went to cool off and talk to my friend. He was worried, very worried, and said that I should get the hell out of the house with my daughter. He said that, as a man, no one was going to believe me, and I could lose my daughter if things escalated. I finally understood the gravity of the situation I was in. After a long walk, I made up my mind. I went to my house and asked my wife to come talk to me. I said that I never hit him, I don't know why he said it, and I don't want to know anymore. I told her that I was not feeling safe in this house, and I didn't want to risk my future and my daughter's future. I told her I understood her mama bear mindset, so I wouldn't blame her for not believing me, but the last place I wanted to be was anywhere near a mama bear. I packed my bags and my daughter's bag, and we left for my parents' house. I refused to take her calls and asked her to only contact me through messages, since it's not legal in my state to record without the consent of both parties. Her messages ranged from blaming me to blaming herself and wanting to talk in person. Three weeks later, she messaged me and told me that she believes me. When I left, she actually started to question her son's allegations, and obvious inconsistencies began to emerge. She realized that her son was lying. She apologized profusely and begged me to come back. I refused. I told her that I couldn't risk it anymore. I don't trust her children, and I don't trust her to believe me. I can't risk it. She asked me what I wanted her to do, give up her kids' custody? And I said, honestly, I do love her, and I do want to stay with her, but I can't risk being with her anymore if her kids are staying with us. I told her I was sorry, and I didn't expect her to leave her kids, so I thought it was best if we moved forward with separation. It turns out she is actually considering giving up custody of her kids. Her ex-husband called me and asked why his ex-wife was talking about giving up custody. I told him the truth, and he was very angry with her son but more angry with my wife. So, we are in the middle of a crap storm, and I am not budging. I can't stay in the same house as her children. I am being bombarded by phone calls from people blaming me for making my wife abandon her children. But what other choice do I have? I can't risk going back now. Commenter. He is only 10, 10 year olds tell a lot of BS when they are upset about something. Explain to him what his behavior did not only to you, but what will happen to his mom, his sister, and him if you guys separate. Also, what has your stepdaughter done wrong? She hasn't accused you of anything, but you are still projecting everything onto her too? Ops response. I think you underestimate the gravity of what he has done. Even my wife took his side. My friend is right, I could have lost my daughter if things had escalated. Who would have believed me? How could I have even proved my innocence? You are right that he is 10, so he can't be held fully responsible for his actions, but I would be held responsible for something I didn't do just because he said it. I can't sue a minor for defamation. My reputation and future would be destroyed without any recourse. He is just too risky for me to live in the same house with. He has power but no responsibility. And yeah, thanks for pointing it out. I guess she got lumped together with her brother when my wife asked whether I wanted her to leave her kids. So, for the past week, the discussion has been about her kids as a whole, and I just wrote it out without thinking. But when I think about it, it's not like my wife can leave her son and keep her daughter. I don't know, this situation is messed up no matter how you look at it. Update 1. I posted here three months ago about my stepson lying to his mom, saying that I put my hands on him. After I made that post, I decided to file for divorce and informed my wife. Literally the next day, she told me she is pregnant. Honestly, I didn't believe her at first, the timing seemed too convenient. I took some time to process it and asked if I could accompany her to a doctor's appointment. She agreed, and it turned out she was 12 weeks pregnant. We had a talk, and I told her we would have to do our best to co-parent the baby. She promised that she would make sure her son behaved from now on and that I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I told her I wasn't willing to risk my future on her word, given how easily she believed her son over me. I made it clear I wasn't blaming her, as it wasn't wrong for her to believe her son. So, we are definitely getting a divorce. She is scared to go through the pregnancy alone, but what other choice do we have? We will have to do our best. Another child will be raised in a broken family. Her relationship with her son has gone to the dogs. He is currently living with his father, and she is refusing to talk to him. I can't find it in myself to judge her. She will have to go through a pregnancy in her 40s, which is complicated enough. On top of that, she will have to navigate her divorce. Add her pregnancy hormones to the mix, and it's easier for her not to talk to her son. All because she believed her lying son. I did talk to her ex-husband, and he and his wife are also struggling. His son is not doing well, especially with his mother essentially ghosting him. I guess the stern talking to that someone recommended in my previous post is not needed anymore. He has gotten a pretty good idea of how much he messed up. I guess we are in a situation where everyone loses. My daughter is the only one who is left relatively unscathed. She is adjusting pretty well to the new apartment and getting into a new routine. All thanks to my friend who warned me in time and helped me shield her from the chaos.